This is the Linnaean Society of London, the world's oldest active learned society dedicated to the study of the natural world. Welcome to our home. Founded in 1788, the Linnaean Society of London began as a small group of like-minded individuals who are passionate about nature and has evolved and grown into the organisation you see today. Our members are located all over the world, but our home is on London's famous Piccadilly, here in Burlington House. The Society has been located at Burlington House since 1856. Back then, several learned societies, including the Royal Astronomical Society, Royal Society and the Linnaean, were housed in the main building, where the Royal Academy of Arts is now. Burlington House itself was purchased by the government in 1854 from the Cavendish family for the purpose of housing multiple learned societies of major cultural, scientific and academic importance. You can see the original house and courtyard here in an illustration from 1707. By 1873, the Linnaean Society had moved to its current location to the left of the Grand Archway in what is now called New Burlington House. These large additional buildings around the courtyard, homes to the Royal Society of Chemistry, Royal Astronomical Society, Geological Society of London, Society of Antiquaries and the Linnaean were specifically constructed for these learned societies. Inside and outside, the building reflects the Linnaean Society's roots in the study of nature. Our library houses over 90,000 books about natural history some of which date from the late 1400s. The upper galleries and hallway are decorated with ironwork depicting tendrils, leaves and flowers, and the glass ceiling is marked with an ornate and botanical LS, another clue as to the building's occupants. Even the main stairwell plays host to a mythical figure of the natural world. Melusine, part woman, part serpent, holds the lamps that light the way. The Linnaean Society is home to the collections, specimens and personal library of the 18th century Swedish naturalist Carl Linnaeus, whose work is of fundamental importance for the practice of biology today. Not only were Linnaeus's systems of classification influential, he was also the first to standardise the use of binomial nomenclature, that is, naming using genus and species, which is still used when naming organisms today. His plant, fish, shell and insect specimens, alongside his books and manuscripts, are securely kept at Burlington House, ready for researchers from all over the world to study. So important are these collections that they were packed up and removed from London during World War II for safekeeping. They now reside back on our premises in a specially built bomb-proof collection store. The plant named for Linnaeus, Linnea borealis, decorates the podium in our meeting room. Many well-known names in science history have been a part of the society and now grace our walls, like Charles Darwin and Alfred Russell Wallace, co-discoverers of the theory of evolution by natural selection, some of whose books and artefacts we also hold. Robert Brown, the society's fifth president, famous for observing the jostling of microscopic particles we now call Brownian motion, also gave us the concept of the cell nucleus on this small, simple microscope in the Society's collections. It was also in this room that the Society's first female members were elected in 1904, one of the earliest learned societies to do so. We've continued to evolve throughout our more than 230-year history. We work with schools and families on linking science and art, with a focus on giving unsung scientists and conservationists the recognition they deserve. Our annual Student Futures Conference offers students of natural science the opportunity to connect and showcase their work in a historic place that we hope encourages them. Our events cover a fantastic range of subjects, with talks from a variety of speakers ranging from island biodiversity to forensic entomology, as well as hands-on activities that include gin tasting, field trips, escape rooms and natural paint making. The Society's events are open to everyone and aim to inform, involve and inspire all people about nature. And you might just see a familiar face from the past wandering our halls. 
Join us at the Linnaean Society to explore the natural world. Our home, collections and team in Burlington House allow us to work towards our vision of a world where nature is understood, valued and protected.